Hi Jay, could you share with us the highlights of the ICF Global Conference which you attended? Yes, uh, Prasad, uh, my colleague Prasad Nishpande and I were at the ICF's International Coach Federation Annual Coaching Conference which was held at Las Vegas. Uh, it was held over the last uh, week. We had about 1,000 odd people attending the conference from over 30 odd countries. And I must tell you that from India we had only two of us who were there and then we, had, we also had two other Indians from America. The conference was a big success we felt because uh, we got once again got a chance to uh, expose ourselves to ideas from all parts of the globe, meet uh, some very interesting speakers and of course network with our community of coaches. Um, since you asked for highlights, uh, the two sessions that uh, remain in my mind after our sessions by first of all Michael Kell, where he spoke about genius thinking and when he I was just connecting his work, his research work on uh, uh, Leonardo da Vinci's life and the characteristics that da Vinci showed and how that those characteristics are very really important for managers at all levels. So that was a very wonderful session and maybe because it was done in a very modern fashion, uh, sipping wine, eating chocolate and writing poetry. So it was a very unique aspect. The second uh, uh, very fascinating session was by Sir Ken uh, uh, Robertson where he actually spoke about uh, education and the need for all of us to discover what he called the element in us, uh, the passion that people have and how that passion makes people achieve in various things. Uh, in his own uh, typical British fashion, uh, he did an outstanding job of presenting his concept and really enthralled all of us with his uh, concepts. Both sessions were in my mind, very uh, wonderful sessions. Besides that, we met a lot of other uh, speakers, a lot of other interesting discussions. But these two stand out in my mind. What are your impressions about growth of coaching in India? Well, coaching is now the flavor of the season. So you meet uh, a lot of people who are now positioning themselves as coaches. And also, of course, the press. Uh, almost every day you see some articles of coaching constantly. In many ways, it's wonderful to know that uh, this idea is catching uh, uh, you know, everybody, everyone's attention and becoming more relevant. But there's also a downside to it because suddenly everybody calls himself a coach. And the challenge we have facing at ICF is to increase the credential of coaches, as you call them. People who are certified in the right method of coaching. Be it as it may, I, I know this is just the initial uh, forward towards coaching. But the purpose of coaching, which is to enable uh, managers uh, or individuals to you know become uh, alive to their true potential and help them achieve their true potential is a wonderful mission to be on. And I'm wonderful. I'm really delighted that uh, the community of coaches is increasing here in India. And I'm confident it will increase further. And of course, the quality of coaches will ultimately be visible because of the kind of work that certain individuals provide.